<clears throat> Hello there. What's going on, guys? Muzzlefuzzy here, and today I'm bringing you some Overwatch gameplay on the PC. And I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. What's going on here? There's a new Muzzlefuzzy video in my sub box? I haven't heard from this guy in like two years. And you're right. It's been a long, long time since I've uploaded a gameplay commentary. So long, in fact. Then I'm kind of rusty at this whole commentary thing. But it's okay. It's alright. I just gotta get back into the swing of things with this whole commentary thing. Because it's been a long time since I've just sat in a room with a microphone and some gameplay in front of me and had a conversation with you guys. And that's what this is. Um, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering where I've been, what I've been up to, what's going on, and why I took a little break from YouTube. A little break being, you know, a couple of years. And to be totally honest, the reason I stopped uploading YouTube videos, the reason I slowly just sort of faded out and didn't really leave an explanation or, or let you guys know that I was going to take a break, uh, was because I just didn't know what to upload. Um, at the time, a couple years ago, the newest Call of Duty game was Black Ops 3. And I had the game on Xbox One, and I was playing it a little bit, but it just didn't grab me like the other games did. It didn't hold my attention, it didn't hold my interest and I wasn't obsessed with it like most Call of Duty games up until that point. And just to be clear with you guys, at the time, in 2015, it was the right thing to do for me to step away from YouTube. Um, I just wasn't handling it very well. I was taking it way too seriously. I was overthinking a lot of things and I just, I, I needed a break. That's exactly what I needed. I, I was burnt out on it. I, I've done it for so long. Um, at the time, I had been a YouTuber for six years, I think. I, I started in 2009, and then I made my last video in 2015. So yeah, about six years, and when you do that every day, all the time, 24-7, 365, it kind of wears on you, and eventually I just got totally burnt out of it and had to take a break, and that's what I did. But, now I'm back. And this video right here is the main reason that I'm back. Uh, a couple months ago, I got an email from these guys over at HP, the computer company, and they were like, Hey Muzzafuzza, we see that you got this gaming channel, you haven't posted in a while, we want to bring you back, and we want to hook you up. So they sent me a gaming PC, they sent me a monitor, they sent me a keyboard and a mouse, they got me all set up to play some PC games, and uh, I just bought Overwatch because I felt like that was the right thing to do. I'm like, oh, you know, I used to play shooters, um, it was on console, but now I have this sweet gaming PC. I'm just going to give Overwatch a try. And I fell in love with this game. I've been playing this game for a couple weeks now. I'm not the best player, as you can see, obviously. I'm not trying to be a pro player. I'm not trying to give you guys pro tips by any means. But I have a lot of fun with it. And I think that's, that's bringing me back to like what gaming is all about. Is having fun with your friends and enjoying yourself. And one thing that I've noticed about this game is that it doesn't really make me rage like Call of Duty used to. Whenever I would play COD, I would just get so much rage, so much anxiety and angst and anger built up when things weren't going my way. But when Overwatch isn't going my way, I just kind of laugh because it's so cartoonish, it's so stylish, it's so different than any other game I've ever played that I don't really take it that seriously. And while I have taken a break from being active on YouTube, actually posting videos and commenting and all the stuff that comes with that, um, I still have been lurking and watching videos and watching Twitch and tuning into people's live streams and just trying to see what's going on in the gaming community, uh, whether I'm posting videos or not, just because I like to keep up with it and I like to see what's going on. And now I feel like I'm, I'm finally back in a place where I can be comfortable making videos again. Um, because I have a great internet connection. I've got really good speeds with my internet. I should have no problem uploading or live streaming or whatever. Um, I've got an awesome gaming PC now, thanks to HP. Uh, it's got a quad core uh, i7 Intel processor. It's got dual NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080s, so I can play pretty much any game I want on ultra settings, and it's not gonna uh, you know, drop my frame rate all the way down. Um, it's got a solid state drive, so literally I can turn this computer on and be playing games within like 10 seconds. It's amazing to me. I've never had a solid state, so this is just kind of blowing my mind. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's VR certified, so it's ready to go for virtual reality if I want to jump into that. And uh, I'm pretty much just good to go for any PC game. And I'm thinking about getting a PS4 too in case I want to get back into the console world. 
but let's talk about Overwatch. Let's talk about this game right here, since one round has already gone by and I pretty much haven't mentioned the gameplay at all. So I'm playing Genji, which is actually the very first character in the character selection screen. Uh, I picked him just because he's one of the best characters, he's one of the ones that I'm most familiar with, and basically you can just hack and slash your way across the map, you can fly all over the place, you can double jump, you can climb walls, um, you kill people with your throwing stars, and then when you get your ultimate, every character in Overwatch has an ultimate, uh, you get a samurai sword and you can just go crazy on the enemy team, and that's what I do here. So hopefully you guys will like the gameplay. I recorded for about three to four hours, non-stop, just game after game after game, and this is the best gameplay that I got. Even though I still got demolished by Tracer, I got demolished by uh, D.Va and a couple other champions just because I don't really know how to play against them. But this is the best one that I got, so I thought that I would share it with you guys. Uh, hopefully you don't judge me for being too bad at Overwatch, but like I said, I'm, I'm more of a casual player now. This is more of a, a casual thing for me. I'm not hardcore all day, every day like I used to be. I'm just playing for fun. And if you ever find yourself in the position that I was in, where you're burnt out on games, you're not really enjoying yourself like you used to, and you're just taking it a little bit too seriously, I would recommend a game like Overwatch. Because it's so cartoonish, it's so over the top, there's people flying and bouncing and jumping all over the map. There's so many cool special abilities. Uh, every character has an ultimate, which is just a game changer. It's always something that's completely going to change the game around, something that's going to uh, just blow your mind when you use it for the first time. Um, I think it's a great game. I think Blizzard nailed it with this game, and I think uh, it's going to have a lot of staying power, and it's going to last for a long time in the gaming community. So I'm going to keep playing it. And now I get to announce something really special for you guys, which is that one of you viewing this video right now is going to win one of these gaming computers. And let me just go over the specs one more time for you guys. This is the Omen X by HP that I'm playing on. Uh, it's got an Intel quad core processor, dual NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080s, a solid state hard drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's, it's just amazing. And it looks amazing too. It's got uh, LEDs on the whole front panel. Um, it's constantly changing colors. I have mine set right now to red, then blue, then green, then purple, and it just rotates constantly. And one of you guys watching this video is actually going to win a brand new gaming PC from HP. You're going to win the gaming computer uh, with all the crazy specs that I talked about. You're going to win a 32-inch monitor and a SteelSeries keyboard and mouse. And I just feel really lucky to be able to bring this to you guys. I haven't done a video in so long, I feel like I needed to come back with something big. And what's bigger than this? Like, I'm giving away a gaming PC. Um, I can't really expect much more than this. So I'm, I'm really happy about this. I'm stoked. Uh, thank you, HP, so much for, for hooking me up like this. This is awesome. And hopefully I'm going to bring you guys a bunch more PC gaming videos as soon as I can uh, figure out how to record stuff because I'm still kind of struggling with the whole recording on PC. i got to try out some, some other software and stuff like that, but I'll get it. I'll, I'll get it figured out. Don't worry. So if you want to enter the giveaway, and I'm sure you do, or at least I hope you do because this thing is a beast. This is pretty much like one of the top of the line gaming PCs on the market right now. You don't have to build it yourself. It all comes put together, prepackaged and uh, it's amazing. It's really nice looking too. You guys will have to check out the website. The link is in the description below, but it's one of the coolest gaming PCs I've ever seen as far as looks go. Um, all you have to do is go on Twitter and either tweet your own picture of your rage quit face, like just you making a rage face, um, or you can retweet my tweet on my Twitter, twitter.com slash muzzafuzza. Just like and retweet my tweet, um, and then add the hashtag HP Omen sweepstakes to it, and you will automatically be entered to win. And one lucky winner is going to take home this PC gaming package worth about 3200 bucks, which it's just mind-blowing to me that I can give something like that away, especially after being gone for so long. Like, I didn't think that I'd be able to get right back into YouTube and, and do something this big and this awesome for my community. So consider this kind of an apology. Like, I'm sorry, guys, I've been gone for a while, but here's some consolation. I'm going to give away a gaming PC to one of my subscribers. So there you go. All you have to do is hop on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, just make one. It takes like five seconds to make an account. Then all you have to do is send a tweet, either uh, your own tweet with your own picture or just retweet my tweet and add your own hashtag. And they're gonna be randomly looking through the hashtag searches and choose one lucky person to win this gaming PC package. 
So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are happy that I'm finally making a comeback to the YouTubes. It's been a long time coming. This has been a long, long time in the making. But I'm here, and I'm playing games, and I'm having fun again, and I'm enjoying it, and I hope that translates into this video, and you guys can feel the good feels that I'm feeling. I just said feel a bunch. I don't know why. Uh, but, yeah. So that's about it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, I would really appreciate some support on this video in the form of a like and a comment. That's all that I'm asking of you guys. If you enjoyed the video, just please click that like button. It takes two seconds for you, and it makes a world of a difference for me. Um, so I would really appreciate that. And let me know in the comments down below, uh, what do you guys want to see from me? What do you want to see me playing? Um, for the next video, do you want to see me doing some more PC gaming? Should I buy a PS4 and maybe hop on some Call of Duty, play some Modern Warfare Remastered? I know a lot of you guys would probably love to see some gameplay from that from me. Um, I still really haven't even played the latest Call of Duty just because I was like, uh, Infinite Warfare, eh, I don't really care. Um, but Modern Warfare Remastered looks good and you kind of have to buy Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare Remastered. So I might do that depending on how interested you guys are in that. But uh, yeah, that was some Overwatch gameplay. This has been Muzza Fuzza. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day and I will see you guys in the next video. Wonderful.